This is why you have to lock your vehicles. Alan ate all of my jerky. Lesson learned. So what are we doing? Are we waiting to see Daddy? Yeah. Where could he be? Over there. It's over there somewhere. I hear him right there. I don't see him. Oh, I do see him. I do see him. What's going on out there? The corn planter? You see daddy? Yeah. Is he planting great grandpa's corn? Oh. What are you doing? I'm going down. <laughs> Call the girls, call the cows. Fancy and Zelda are checking out the mineral feeder. It's got three different compartments. One compartment's a mineral, one compartment's salt, and then one compartment is a sodium bicarb or like a baking soda. And we just have that out free choice for the cows. And they just flip up the flap and, and get to it.
just washing milkers right now. Cows have already been grained. They've all been milked. So they're all just kind of chilling in here. Yeah, Alan's done washing milkers now. Vacuum pumps off. Cows are just relaxing. I think they're enjoying the fan and then I think they like it in here because there's no flies. We have a guy that comes in here and then he sprays the whole barn for flies and spiders about once a month. And uh, it really helps it. Like I said, you get a few flies that'll maybe come in on their legs, but that's about it. And then we spray those off with our little pump sprayer. But yeah, everyone's pretty relaxed. Now we gotta get them all up and get them outside. Watch out now, cows are coming. Ah. Fancy, don't be a bully. Hey, Ditto. A lot of you have been asking about the dual on the 1066. We do have the replacement tire on the rim, so Al just got to run up to the shop and get it, get it back onto the tractor. But he's been wanting to get all the oats and corn and everything all planted up first. Ready? Monday, June 8th, 90, it's supposed to be 91 today. I don't think it's quite that hot yet, but it's getting there. It's pretty windy, which is nice, that helps. Um, so I figured being it's this warm out, it'd be a good day to pressure wash off some tractors and stuff, get some of the field dirt off them before we start making hay. So um, got my gas powered Cub Cadet pressure washer there. We'll get that hooked up and see if we can blast some of the grime off of some of this stuff. in Minnesota, huh? Come on, girls. It's time to get milked. Yeah, I know. It's hot. People from the south, they're probably laughing at us. They think the 90s are probably not that bad. But around here, it's hot. Come on, girls. I'm not going in after you.
Morning everybody, it's Tuesday, June 9th, uh, it's a little before 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I came out, I uh, was going to do some stuff with the little John Deere tractor here and got three cows we put in the corral here. They're getting closer to calving and I see we have one here that calved, so we'll check that out. Yeah, she found a nice high spot up there, we just put them in the corral. With it being as hot as it's been, I didn't want to leave them out in that pasture because there's a kind of a big swamp out there and I don't want them to go in there that's not good so they got nice and dry in here and stuff so let's go see well, it's not a calf too long ago we'll get her it's easier to run them in the barn here too plus we have the bull out there now those other cows and I don't like dealing with him so hey mama what's going on here I must have had him a little while ago. Where is he? Can't find him in here. There he is. There we go. Hey there, Kaffer. What do we got here? Oh yeah, ooh, a nice heifer. We'll have to get her uh get her uh first defense tube and we'll get you guys in the barn and get her some milk. Back here in the barn, I'm going to get, uh, we've got some spray put on the calves' navel. It helps kind of dry it out, um, especially when you get summertime like this. There's a lot of flies and stuff out. Um, we just use this. You can use iodine or whatever. This is an actual spray for it. But um, So I'm going to spray that on there, and we've got one of those first defense tubes. Um, get them into the calf and get them in the barn there, get them out of the, like I said, when it's hot like this and stuff, you get a lot of flies and whatnot, so I'll see if we can get her in the barn. All right, we got her and the baby in the barn here. Um, the boys went to go get her some hay. Uh, so she can have something to munch on and that calf's trying to stand up, so it shouldn't be too long, she'll be up. And that first defense tube I gave her, I leave that sit a little while uh, before I give them any milk. It helps them kind of get into their system, so. I'll wait a little while and then I'll probably hand milk a bottle out of her and feed the calf. Tango had a heifer calf. So our Ayrshire is back milking again. A big calf. So now I think we're going to get the hay bind hooked up and um, go through and finish. I started pressure washing this tractor yesterday. I didn't get finished. I ran out of gas, so pressure washer. So uh, we're going to do that now. I think I'll unhook that spreader and get the hay bind hooked up. We got our hay bind and got it all washed up. Now I just got to grease it and check the gearboxes and stuff. Uh, it's just a 489 New Holland. Uh, it does a nice job. It's nice we can run it with this little John Deere, so it's pretty easy on fuel. Uh, I do have another hay bind I bought. My grandpa bought this one new, and then I bought a few years ago. I bought a Gale. Because uh, we used to cut with both machines, me and him, but now it's hard for him to run the tractor anymore, so we just pretty much use the one. So I, I might, might get rid of that gale, and I would actually like to try to save up a little bit and get a disc bind. Um, just a lot nicer with that. Cut a little faster, you get better drying, you can cut in wetter conditions like wetter hay, uh, where these you got to let it dry out more. Uh, stuff like that doesn't plug nearly as easy and stuff but for hay binds this has been a really good machine it actually does a nice job you can clip right along pretty good with this and stuff like that so um, that's our hay bind so hopefully we got a couple days maybe some rain coming and then after that I think I'm gonna start knocking down some hay